welcome to my home. Please come in. Hello, Merry Christmas. My name is Chinwei. Welcome to my home. Today I'm cooking a non traditional Christmas dinner. I'm cooking steak and potatoes for my friends and family. My name is Chinwei Oladimeji. I'm an interior designer, I'm passionate about anything creative. My dad is Ivo, my mom is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am making some Uziza butter to put on top of the steak. Yeah, I'm just going to roll this and put this in the, in the fridge or freezer so that it's ready. Boil the sweet potatoes. I've got my sister-in-law here, AJ Coker. And then I have my friend of 40 something years, Bolade Duroje. Yeah, so. I might, yeah, I'm putting the peppers in, but I'm gonna take them out. I don't want them to get soggy. I just want them to a bit crunchy and then I'll take them out. When I was younger, Christmas was all about opening presents and what we're getting for Christmas. But now I've be, been able to appreciate just coming to the end of another year. Just stirring the butter in the oil so that it doesn't burn. Okay, okay. And then I'm gonna put my onions. Because I'm making like a rustic mash, doesn't need to be, you know, we don't follow any rules. Okay. A bit of pepper, black pepper, a bit of salt. And I'm going to stir fry my Uziza. Yeah, oh, that will be really, really nice. This is Aziza butter, the one I made earlier. So I rolled this in parchment paper and um, put it in the freezer. And now it's ready to be sliced and put on top of the steak. So is this the, chi the chicken the Maggie, flavor? Yes. Chicken flavor. Mm -hmm. From so that's just to kick in the taste, taste as yeah. well. Very nice. These are New York strip steaks. So apparently you should only turn your meat once, right? Yeah. Or else it becomes yeah. tough. Yeah. Yeah. Looks so good. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay everyone, it's time to eat. Let's dig in, please. I think everyone should know how to, first of all, set off a Christmas dinner, cook a Christmas dinner, have people over. And Christmas is about family and friends. So we, we always have one or two other people at our table. It's not just family. And um, I hope my children also see that and extend that love to other people as well. 